Okay, here we go again. I just did a poll on uh, PBS.com. Was Sarah Palin qualified to be the vice president? Or eventually the president? Because you know, I mean, McCain's not going to last long. Anyway, so in the poll, Palin is winning. That got me to thinking, what, did, did, what qualifies her to be vice president of our country, to lead our country? This is a woman who ran away and got married because she was pregnant. Okay, that's fine. You know, I got pregnant before I got married. I don't have nothing against that. But... This woman has not learned from her mistakes. Her children, she has no control over them. Her oldest son was in trouble with the law. He broke into the school where they parked the school buses and cut the brake lines of 51 buses. That was just reported on the news. Okay, so they sent him off to... Michigan, that's where he started playing hockey. That's why she can claim she's a hockey mom. She's not a hockey mom. Okay, anyway, to get back to the story. In Michigan, he starts doing, he was doing drugs, hard drugs. Anyway, he ended up going to the, um, going into the army. So she had no control over him. Her daughter has been all around. She's a beautiful little girl. And um, I pray for the best for them. But she, her mother, they couldn't communicate with each other. Okay. So she becomes the mayor of Wasilla. And what does she do? She runs it into debt. She alienates many of the people, and I can't believe they made her governor. Her friend was in charge of a $550 billion oil fund, and there was a computer glitch, and all the records are lost. My goodness gracious. Uh, now that was just a rumor. I don't have any proof of that. But I'm sure it's out there. I'm sure it's out there. And we want this woman for vice president. She fires people because they won't... Because they don't agree with her. Everybody's got to agree with her to work with her. Ah, no. No. I hope our country's smarter than that. If our country isn't smarter than that, you get what you deserve.